Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Liberate Lunations. My name is Eleonora and today we're going to be talking about the new moon in Capricorn that happens on January 2nd with its peak time of 10.33 a.m. and that's for Pacific Standard Time. Now, first of all, Happy New Year. Um, this new moon is a very new year, new you kind of thing, um, especially in such a hardworking and dedicated sign like Capricorn. One thing we do still have to keep in mind is that Venus is retrograde in Capricorn right now, so we have to be very thorough with our intentions. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> First of all, we have the Sun and Moon in Capricorn trying Uranus, who is retrograde in Taurus. Um, so this is a great transit in energy to lean into stepping out of the box, doing something unconventional. Um, we know Uranus is also very related to disruption. So what can you do in your life to disrupt a routine in the best way, obviously? What can you do? Um, I guess what is a creative, nurturing, and self-empowering way that you can step out of the box, that you can set intentions for yourself and for this first moon of the new year, and also what kind of things do you want to see come into fruition that will help both your your sense of self and your sense of value as well. Not only this next lunar cycle, but the whole lunar cycle of Capricorn until the Capricorn full moon um, during Cancer season. So think about that. Next up, we do have Venus retrograde in Capricorn, sextile, Neptune, and Pisces. Now, even though Venus is retrograde, this can kind of give us an insight into creative ways and spiritual ways that we can nourish our mind, body, and soul. Um, Venus being retrograde just gives us a look into like past situations, maybe. Um, it has us revisit some things, maybe um, some situations or or times where we weren't kind to ourselves or kind to others um, but it's all with the objective of learning new ways to um, navigate situations and really new ways to have healthy relationships with not only ourselves but with others as well Next, we do have Mars in Sagittarius, sextile Saturn in Aquarius. Um, this is kind of cute, and this can be really supportive of like planning for a uh, long-term goal, something that we're really passionate about, something that's um, really beyond like open-mindedness. Um, and Mars in Sagittarius can kind of give us the stamina to follow through, especially having Saturn in Aquarius, which is very like, let's build new structures that will work for the future and not really based on the past just because it's always the way that's been done doesn't mean that it needs to be um that we need to keep doing it that way there might be better ways to do something so i think that's um very supportive of this aspect and then again this new moon is good for long-term goals so think of that this be really thoughtful about what you want to manifest because especially with like saturn rule things these are not um, things that will come easy or effortlessly or quickly. Um, Saturn likes consistency. It likes commitment. It likes a structure, a schedule, a uh, sustainable everything. So make sure that whatever you do, do for this new moon, if you don't do anything, that's fine too, um, that you're willing to dedicate time and energy to this goal to really have it pan out the way that you want. Also, um, last, but it's really, we're not going to touch on this because it's Saturn, you're in a square, still in the back, surprise, it's not going anywhere. Um, it is going somewhere, but you know, it will still feel a lot of the effects throughout of 2022 just because they're both going to keep moving forward so um yeah just keep this uh energy in mind okay next up we're gonna pull a card as usual um just a message and energy something that we can lean into um especially starting this new year um what 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 can we look forward to what can we just really channel during this new moon to help us oh my god so many cards oh there is a one card that fell so we're gonna leave her um to do her thing 
Um, we have new moon. This is the one that fell first. So, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. New beginnings. So really do something with this. Even if it's not, you don't do a ritual. Just think. Just, you know, it's just like, just take a minute to sit and sit with yourself and really think of you. Put yourself first. It's so we always want to do all these resolutions during New Year's. It's like, well, this is a one that you will have to follow through um, if you happen to put that energy out there. None of that. I'm going to go to the gym every day and then January ends and you're done with that routine. Um, really think something really future kind of oriented for yourself. So um, it's worth to really sit and think and meditate about what you want to bring in. Um, this new year, 2022. The other one is the first house. So it's just all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, about yourself, your identity, your body, um, how other people see you as well. Like what, what, what is it? You know, people, <laughs> people give others such um, a hard time for being ever changing, always changing, always evolving, always trying new things. Um, I feel like this is what it's about. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be this year? Because obviously circumstances in the world have changed and are always changing. And we're going through a change that's beyond us right now, beyond anything human too. So fuck it. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be? This is my question to you, this new moon. Crystal to recommend, we're gonna do Mahogany Obsidian. Obsidian in general is great for purifying the energy. It's great for grounding and protection. It's great for healing as well. But this Mahogany Obsidian will help release blocks that are kind of um, setting camp in our subconscious um, that might be rooted in like abuse, trauma, humiliation, rejection, any of those really oof, like almost kind of debilitating in to our souls in lots of ways. So it helps heal that, it helps remove those blockages um, and it can, cause it's important it's sometimes real like emotional trauma can stick into our bodies and turn into a physical trauma. So it's very important that we take care of ourselves and that we're doing our part in our work to do our best to clear those things and to work through all these um, gently and lovingly, obviously. So I recommend Mahogany Obsidian. For events to recommend during this time, make sure to check down below. Um, in the description box, we have lots of good stuff for this new moon and Capricorn. I like to end these um, videos recommending a book because I will always have a book to recommend. <laughs> um, this time around, I am gonna recommend This Is Your Destiny by Lisa Kelly. I have had the pleasure of studying under her um, and being part of her Constellation Club and having sessions with her. She is amazing. Um, and she wrote this book. It's not really a textbook, astrology book. Um, it's basically helps you navigate your life through astrology and helps you manifest your best life. Um, and it's beautiful because she, there's lots of chapters on different things like manifestation and money and knowing yourself and working with intention. And it's really beautiful because she does it also, um, get to these things through personal experiences and through personal stories and you can see um kind of really her point of view and how astrology helped her and how it manifested in her life so i think this is a really great book if you're just starting if you're intermediate if you're experienced it doesn't matter what level of astrology you are this is great to kind of understand everything through a very relatable and personable point of view so i'll link it below you can find it probably anywhere but i'll link it on amazon below um and yeah it's a great it, i think this is great to start the year especially um with just some new perspective all right guys that is it for this new moon in capricorn and january 2nd let's get it 2022 we have so many things to look forward to this year and um you know just gotta keep fighting the good fight um I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday season, uh, wherever you are. Thank you so much for watching. 
I'm excited to see what 2022 brings. So yeah, thank you for being here. Sending you much, much love, many, many blessings and have a very wonderful new moon. Readings uh, shared time and space with someone who is spiritually connected. An opportunity to get clarity and reassurance, um, guidance on any area of your life that you may feel stuck or not in flow with. So readings are basically um, extremely helpful for you to make decisions that needed to be made. For having clarity on life's questions, healing, um, empowerment to move someone from fear to being empowered. When you're feeling stuck, when you can't answer the question yourself, when you find yourself in a little bit of a spin out. I don't think there's anything that a reading is not good for. You know, the perfect time for a reading can be any time. We are constantly changing, so we are constantly coming up against obstacles or reoccurring patterns that we need to check in with. When things just feel really heavy and dark and you might be a little confused about some of the things on your, on your path, maybe certain relationships or opportunities. So we all have blind spots, so when you find yourself in a blind spot, that's a really good time to get a reading. So readings are good to check in to find out where your progress is through the eyes of someone else who's holding you in the highest good for all concerned. Change is always good ultimately and sometimes it's hard to see that and readings bring you back to that center of what it's for for you.